How's it going everybody? My name is Benjamin Anderson and in today's video we're going to be taking a deep look into the select expression. Now the first thing we want to ask is what is the select expression used for? The select expression, as we can see here from the documentation, is an expression that's going to return a list of values. It does this by using three parameters. The first one is the list we want to look through for the values we want to return. So we're starting with a list and we're filtering out certain values in that list to return a specific list that we're looking for. Which brings us to the second parameter. The second parameter is the condition we want to filter on. This is going to look through the list in the first parameter and pull out only the values we want. Finally, we have an optional parameter. We know it's optional because we can see square brackets here in the documentation. This third optional parameter is a true or a false, a boolean, that tells the expression whether we want to omit duplicate results or not. If we want to be able to see all the duplicates, um, then we're going to put false there. If we want the duplicates to be removed, or we want them to be omitted, we're going to put in true. Now up here I have an example. And in this example, I'm actually comparing the select expression and a lookup expression uh, by using another expression called any. But before I get to that, let me explain how this select expression is working and break down its different components. So we have our select expression, which we can see goes from here to here. And I have all three parameters. So I have chosen to include the third optional parameter. Um, the first one. I am getting a list of names from the employees table. So in this app, I have a table called employees. And in that table, I have a column called name. So I'm returning a list of names from the employees table. Now, for this list, I only want the employees whose email equals the user email, which if you don't aren't familiar with that expression, it's an expression that returns the email of the current user. So this is making sure that I'm only getting the name of the current user. <coughs> and I'm omitting duplicate results. Now, theoretically, I'm only using, excuse me, I am using email as the unique identifier for the employee table. So theoretically, I only have one value with that ID. I say theoretically, I mean ideally, if you have m a duplicate result in a key table, you have a whole different issue. Um, but we'll get into that in a different video. So because I only want the name of the person associated with that email, I'm going to wrap the whole thing in this any expression. Any returns a random value in a list. Now, since even though there's only one value returned by the select expression, it is still turning a list with only one value in it. Um, that being said, this column in the table I'm currently in isn't asking for a list. It's asking for a text value of a name. And that's why I'm wrapping in the select expression inside of an any expression. This is going to make sure we turn the value inside the list instead of a list with one value inside of it. This does the same thing as this lookup expression. Lookup similarly looks through a list of values and returns one value based on a parameter you're giving it. Finally, coming back to the select expression, I have the optional parameter true. If I didn't want to omit duplicate results, I don't need this parameter at all, in which case we would have this. In this situation, again, ideally, assuming I have unique values in all of my, in my key column, I don't need to put that expression because I know for a fact that there are no duplicate results because it is a unique key column. And that's the select expression. This is one use case uh, for it specifically, but the select expression can be used in all sorts of ways in all sorts of places inside your app. If you have any questions or thoughts, 
please feel free to throw them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and we hope you have a great day. At Crew Technologies, we love helping people get great value out of AppSheet. We do that through offering professional services and helpful content like this. To stay up to date, like and subscribe, and we're always trying to improve. So leave us your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.